Is it okay to tell a lie? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Duksu was found by North Korean soldiers in the family cellar on November 20, 1950. He and his father, a Presbyterian pastor for 42 years, were taken to prison and told they would be executed in the morning. His father told him they could not tell a lie to save their lives. That evening, a captain approached Kim. Are you a Christian? For a fleeting moment, life for a lie seemed the only logical way to go. But the young boy remembered his father's instruction. I am a Christian, Kim said. The captain drew closer and whispered, I'm a Christian too. I used to be a Sunday school teacher before the war. You must escape tonight. I will help you. Kim fled that night, having to leave his father under heavy guard, awaiting his eventual death. Kim made it to an American base and played the organ for the chapel. I should have been killed after the communists found me, but God sent that Christian guard to help me escape. In today's Gospel reading, Herod the Tetrarch is curious about Jesus, whom he thought was John the Baptist reincarnated. John was beheaded by Herod the Tetrarch, son of Herod the Great, who pursued Jesus when the latter was still a baby. John's beheading was narrated in detail in the Gospels of Mark and Matthew, but is mentioned in passing in Luke. He was beheaded because he dared to tell the truth. He criticized Herod for marrying his brother's wife. John was unafraid to speak the truth to everyone, calling the compromised religious leaders as a brood of vipers. He did not pretend to be the Messiah and spoke about Jesus as the true Savior. We reflect today on the subject of lying, admittedly a very tricky and complex issue. The Bible is replete with passages on lying. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. You destroy those who speak lies. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices. But there are also a number of biblical stories about personages who tell lies for a good purpose. In Exodus, to save the newborn male babies from the king's command to kill all, the Hebrew midwives lied to the Pharaoh. In Joshua, Rahab the prostitute lied to the king of Jericho about the two spies Joshua sent to the first city of Canaan, the Promised Land. So is it all right to lie? St. Augustine said, A person lies who has one thing in mind yet expresses something else with words. He says that every lie is a sin, some worse than others, even if told for a good purpose. The Eighth Commandment is our clear guide about lying. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says that the Eighth Commandment forbids misrepresenting the truth in our relations with others. In here, we see the word relations. Does telling a lie enhance or destroy relationships? On the other hand, does it prop up one at the expense of another? Perhaps a white lie to flatter another person or to not hurt someone or to save another may not be as grave as a slanderous statement meant to deceive and destroy, to embarrass and extinguish another. But it is still a sin, a venial sin that requires sincere repentance on our part. St. Paul reminds us not to do evil that good may come. Although St. Thomas Aquinas, following St. Augustine's lead, held that all lying is bad, what he called the sin, peccatum, he nevertheless believed that a harmless lie to save a life is only a venial sin, not a mortal sin. Lying comes in many forms. It can be an outright untruth, or it can be a furtive glance, or plain silence. Our body can reveal a lie with the shift of a leg or hard swallowing and sudden perspiration. Holding back important information that is unknown to everyone is definitely a lie. To lie is to sever the spiritual umbilical cord that links us to the truth himself, our God. But what if it harms someone by telling the truth? One seeks God's grace in all situations. This question of whether or not lying can ever be justified can only be judged by a heart full of love for God who guides, directs, and is in control of the situations we face. The complexity of this issue is managed by our Catechism of the Catholic Church, which says that the right to the communication of the truth is not unconditional. Everyone must conform his life to the gospel precept of fraternal love. This requires us in concrete situations to judge whether or not it is appropriate to reveal the truth to someone who asks for it. So is it always good to tell the truth? 
Pope Francis says that sometimes people think that revealing other people's personal business and confidential information is fine, also because I only told the truth. Gossip, however, destroys communion by being indiscreet and inconsiderate. The tongue is like a knife and gossip kills, destroying people and their reputation. So when is it okay to tell a lie? Perhaps that should not be the question to ask. Instead, we should ask God to help us to become more truthful in what we say. For when we have that disposition to seek God's will always, we can never go wrong, even in such complex a matter as to tell the truth or to lie. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, guide me in my words, reveal your will in my heart, and increase my desire to love those around me even more. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.